trust David, but Mother. What? I'll fly up first thing in the morning. If something is going on, I want to know about it. And what if it is? If it is, I'll fight for him. I don't know how, but I'll fight for him. Well, it's funny, he's normally so quiet. I think horses can tell when you're nervous. When he started acting up, I thought it best to head straight back. <laughs> I should have let you come with me. Oh, there's uh, more tea in the pot, Beryl. Oh, I'm fine, thanks, Rosie. Well, we'll drive over there later, catch him there. The ladyship's late back. And she was calling past the stables. Anything to upset the workers. <laughs> you can probably tell Rosie's not too keen on Patricia. John, you home? I ain't here. Pleasant surprise. Hello, Patricia. She turned up out of the blue. Oh, no trouble at home, I hope. No, no trouble at home. I just felt like a bit of a break and thought it would give David a surprise. Well, I'm sure it will. I'll call him and tell him to come over straight away. I thought it would be nice if I went over to the Reed property myself. Oh, you can't possibly stay there. It's nowhere near finished. And there's plenty of room here, isn't there, John? Tons. I came all the way up here to be with my husband. Staying in separate houses rather defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Ready when you are, love. Right. Can't wait to see his face. <laughs> Thank Rosie for the tea, Patricia. Where'd you put your case? Down there somewhere. Oh, God, no. Uh, oh, when did they leave? Just a little while ago. David, you mustn't panic. Whatever you do, you mustn't even think about telling Beryl about us. It would hurt her terribly. When did you say they left? They won't be there for a while yet. Just calm down. John doesn't suspect a thing, and there's nothing to be gained by them finding out. Yeah, I, I know. I, uh, yeah, I know. Look, look, I, I better go and clean the place up. Have a drink to calm your nerves. It'll be all right. I'll be in touch. Rosie? Rosie? Finish with your coffee cup. I might want another one. I'll have to make fresh. That's what you're paid for. Didn't say it wasn't. Thought the veal was a little overcooked. It's the way Mr. Hamilton usually likes it. Yes, well, he's not here, is he? No. Hi. I'm sorry to leave you on your own for dinner. I managed, thank you. Yeah, Dad was really thrown with Mum turning up. Why? What did he say? Oh, nothing really. You could tell he was excited, though. I thought we could uh, organise a few things for Mum while she's here. We could uh, all have a picnic or something. Oh, I've got better things to do than organise picnics for people who pop in. Hmm. If your mother had let us know, we could have organised something for her. I'll get you another cup of coffee. I don't want one, thanks. I've got a headache. I'll see you tomorrow. We've got a big day. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Uh, has she been like that all night? Certainly has. I wonder what's got into her. She's been in such a good mood. 
Well, whatever it is, it's brought her back to normal. Hello. Here by yourself? Yes, Rosie must be enjoying her trip to town. Oh, it'll do her good. Would you like a drink? Yes, thanks. Uh, nothing too strong. Oh, gin and tonic? You'll be fine. Well, it's nice to have you here. Uh, you are staying here, I hope. Oh, the Reed House must be terribly uncomfortable. I don't know how you had a week of sleep. It's okay. I can adapt to anything. <laughs> well, you're a better man than I am. Cheers. I haven't let the grass grow. I thought the four of us could have a day at the picnic races on the weekend. It's lots of fun if you don't go too often. You're not interested in picnic races any more than I am. I'm sorry, I don't follow. We both know, so it's stupid to pretend. What's been going on with you and David? Beryl, I don't know what on earth you're talking about. Oh, come on. I saw you together. I'm afraid you've lost me. Yesterday. Oh, you weren't doing anything. But I saw the way you were together. When you were working at the fence. Beryl, we were simply working. That's what we're both up here for. I'm sorry if you got the wrong idea. I know I'm right. I haven't been married to David for all these years not to know when he's guilty. It was written all over his face last night and again this morning. He can't even look me in the eye. It's all news to me. Rubbish. I know it was a long time ago, but he's always had a thing about you. And you can deny it until the cows come home, but I know what you've both been up to. All right. It was stupid of me to think you wouldn't realise. What's your next step? I don't have to take any steps. Oh, you came here. I would have thought that was a fairly major step. <laughs> you are so smug. I knew damn well you'd make sure something happened as soon as I found out you were here. Oh, dear. So now it's all my fault, is it? Well, what about David? What do you think he feels? Oh, I know I don't have a hope of trying to fight you here. But he'll be back home again in two weeks. We'll see how much hold you have over him then.